Bristlemouth is a technology concept that I've been excited about for nearly a decade. Throughout my career, I've participated in field expeditions around the world, worked with researchers across a multitude of fields, and have been involved with the development of technologies that have been at the forefront of exploration. During this time, I've become convinced that the interface between components in underwater systems is the Achilles heel of their architecture. And if we can improve interface in a similar way that other industries have, then we can drastically improve our ability to innovate in this space. Bristlemouth is a connectivity standard that has the ability to unite innovation in the marine space in an unprecedented way. More than 10 years ago, I changed the trajectory of my career from designing spacecraft to developing underwater technology because I realized how extraordinary yet unexplored the underwater world is. Most of the habitable space on our own planet has never been seen because it's below the surface of the water. The engineering behind marine exploration is perhaps even more challenging than engineering for space. In the ocean, pressure differences are far greater, and instead of being surrounded by sterile nothingness in orbit, marine devices are surrounded by corrosive seawater and biology that tends to engulf everything it touches. Ocean engineering is challenging, but with the right tools, it's possible to give access to this unknown part of the world to anyone. Our ocean is vast, and I believe it will require getting a lot more people exploring our marine environments if we want to close the data gap we have with the majority of our planet. Before joining SOFAR, I co-founded a company called OpenROV that made low-cost underwater robots with the intention of democratizing exploration. One key learning we gained is that the majority of time and cost resources spent on developing technologies for these missions is spent on the intricate process of integrating the technology. Although the types of devices one may want to integrate for a mission vary greatly, every type of device generally needs three fundamental things, power, data, and processing. Right now, the way of integrating new devices involves bespoke development for each of these topics. This creates a huge barrier of entry for ocean researchers and innovators. It shouldn't be that hard. Bristlemouth solves this problem. Bristlemouth uses a completely new architectural philosophy. With this new integration method, all devices connect in a universal way, and each connection point is intelligent. And at each interface, there are electronics that can process data and network with each of the other devices in a system. As this technology develops, the goal is that interfacing new marine devices will become as easy as plugging in a USB device to your computer. The need for this ease of connectivity becomes even more apparent when you try to scale. At SOFAR, we are creating a nervous system for the ocean. A large portion of our fleet depends on the reliability and scalability of Bristlemouth technology. We've been using Bristlemouth in locations throughout the world and have dedicated resources to ensure the connector is dependable in any environment. Early in my ocean exploration career, I was part of an expedition to Antarctica, where I was a pilot and engineer for an underwater vehicle that dove under the ice to study the ecology there. The immense value of each day on an expedition like this makes any failure highly costly. What amazed me was that the majority of field failures we experienced were related to connectors or interfaces. As a result, a significant portion of the mission's costs can be attributed to equipment downtime during deployment. Robustness of components is one of the most important factors for technology used in field work, and that has been the driving force behind the Bristlemouth connector. Instead of relying on spring deflection like most electrical connectors, the connector pins use threads to engage the plug and socket together, just like a machine screw and nut engage, which provides extraordinary ruggedness and a large amount of contact area. Since the two conductors are separated into discrete plugs, the spacing between them means that shorts are less likely and less catastrophic if they occur because of the increased electrical resistance from their physical separation. And if a device does fail, the universal interface means that replacing a component can be done by almost anyone. The old part can simply be unplugged and a new part put in its place. No engineering expertise is needed. I've learned that the ability to adapt to changing situations and opportunities is paramount. With this technology, not only can parts be replaced rapidly if something goes wrong, the interchangeability means that you could borrow parts from one device to use them for another. In the future, I can imagine having a collection of Bristlemouth modules like thrusters, cameras, lights, actuators, sensors, batteries, and hubs. Because the connectors are small and low cost, there will never be a need to rewire the pinouts. Each of these modules could be potted as individually waterproof, standalone systems. Developers and researchers could even exchange parts to enable one another. 
In the development of this technology, I've been excited to see how it may enable innovation of marine technology to come full circle to how my own experience in the field started, with community. If developers share a common interface, then we'll be able to build off of each other's work and leverage each other's innovations, accelerating the development of ocean technology and furthering our ability to understand the planet that we live on. Bristlemouth is an extraordinary new technology in its own right. But more importantly, it's a way for the marine technology community to work together.